فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Engagement is sunnah, yes it is. And as I said, it is mere promise. And it has been mentioned in the hadith and in the practices of uh, the companions and the Prophet himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The word khitbah, which means engagement, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the sound hadith, which is collected by Imam Muslim, وَلَا يَخْطِبْ أَحَدُكُمْ عَلَى خِطْبَةِ أَخِيهِ No one should propose to a girl who has been already engaged by somebody else. Or if there is a pending proposal, then he should wait until either the proposal has been accepted or uh, rejected, then he may proceed on. Okay, so the khutbah is known in the sunnah. And uh, if the people are ready to process the marriage right away, that is permissible. But the khutbah, which is a mere promise to get married in the near or the far future, is uh, uh, legal. Uh, while the wedding ring or the engagement ring is not an Islamic tradition and does not present anything in an Islamic law or legislation. So I married uh, to my wife without uh, a wedding ring and we're still married and our marriage, alhamdulillah, is 100% legal. So the wedding ring is a Christian tradition and some people believe it is necessary for the wedding uh, process and it is necessary to maintain the wedding but this is not uh, uh, true at all. You can marry without the wedding ring. What's necessary is the mahr or the dowry, which if you buy a ring, a gold ring, a diamond ring, a valuable ring or jewelry to your wife, fine. But to exchange rings that you wear one and you have to wear one and she wears one has nothing to do with the sunnah. Barakallahu feek Fahim from Sweden. Sister Zahra from Bahrain. Assalamu alaikum brother. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, yes, but I just had a question regarding, I'm engaged since one year, and I just wanted to know that uh, I have been talking to my fiancé since four months. I didn't know anything about whether it was lawful or no, but I just, now when I just came to know that, is it, I just heard from somewhere that it isn't lawful, it's haram. So I just want, can you just please explain or elaborate whether it's lawful or it's not lawful? Since I'm very confused right now at this point, Yani, I'm very, I don't know what to do. I'm just confused. I'm shocked. Okay, Zahra, can you tell me the subject of your conversation and how do you normally talk to each other? Like you Skype, you talk I, over the phone, SMS. No, I, talk, I talk to him on the phone. Over the phone, okay. By yourself, like you lock yourself in a room and you talk to him? No, I talk sometimes in front of my mom, sometimes if mom is sleeping, sometimes in front of my dad. I talk like normally, I walk around my house and I talk to him. Okay, great. Okay, I will answer you inshallah right now, Zahra. Okay, pertaining this matter, let's set the proper rules first and make it very obvious so we are clear about it. Engagement is mere promise of getting married. So when a girl is engaged, she cannot accept more offers and proposals because she's already engaged. But if she decides, well, I'm not interested, then it is reversible, revocable, and she has the right to turn him off and say, I'm not interested. Likewise with him, and there will not be any obligations or commitment. So it is a promise to get married which does not make any unlawful lawful, nor does it make any lawful unlawful. What does this mean? It does not make any unlawful lawful. You just heard Brother Abdullah from Sweden is talking about shaking hands with his uh, colleagues. I'm talking about women. And we talked about it, that it is not permissible and so on. I'm engaged. Can I shake hands with my fiancé? No. Nope. Can we go out together? to dine, to get to know each other better? No. Can we go to a movie together? Can he visit me at home whenever I'm by myself? Can I visit him at home when he's by himself? None of the above. Why? Because till this moment, he's still a stranger. I just give him a promise that I will marry him. Okay. What about the other equation? The opposite. It does not make any lawful unlawful. If two sisters... One is engaged to one person. Okay. 
Then the person decided to break the engagement and he was interested in her sister and he wanted to marry her. The other sister is still lawful for him. Why? Because they are not married. So it does not make any lawful unlawful because they are not married yet. There are many examples to these two uh, terms. So what I'm trying to deliver to you is you should treat your fiancé like everybody else who is not mahram to you and is not lawful to you yet. And that's why we advise to shorten the engagement period. A couple months, more than enough. Six months, seven months, okay. It shouldn't be years because there is a tendency that I like to talk to my fiancé. And he is not lawful to you yet. So if you have to talk to him in the light of what I said and discussed earlier, uh, it should be like treating a person who is entirely ajnabi, stranger, and it should be in the presence of either your parents or mother or father, an adult from your family. So this way you will avoid having the khalwa. Khalwa is to speak to him in private because I can assure you that every man and a woman who are chatting together, talking together, and they are optimistic about getting married one day and so on, they will exchange love words and compliments and one thing leads to another. And remember, he's still not your husband. 